Hello saints. I'm coming to you all because I was cut off. I didn't have enough space on my phone. So I have to come to you with a second part. And I'm coming to you all with a correction um, from my first video, um, everyone as well. Because in my first video, I mentioned that the angels were having relations with the men. Um, with, with wanted to have relations with the sons. Okay, but it's the other way around. The people of the town, the men of the town wanted to have relations with the two angels. They came to Lot's house, everyone. Okay, so that would have been sodomy. Um, so I have to make a correction because when God prompts you when you go into investigation, um, um, I was prompted by the Holy Spirit to check out the information that I, I gave. And I, when you're correct, when God corrects you, you have to come and make a correction. Okay, everyone. So I, I apologize on that. I misread what it was saying, understood. Um, that's why God gives us wisdom, knowledge, and revelation. So I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over my life, over my family, and my loved ones, and ministries, those I know, in Jesus' mighty name, the lender and sender and receive his Father. Father God, this video is covered in the blood. Everyone, it says in uh, Genesis, this is um, the, the second part of Sodom. All right, what's going on in Sodom, everyone? Now, we was talking about how the sodomy was going on and God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of all of the sin and that Abraham could not even find uh, 50, 45, 20, 10. He could not find that many people who were righteous. So God said if he could, he would save them, but he couldn't. And God let Lot, the nephew of Abraham, and his family escape. But we know that what happened is that Lot's wife turned back when he told the angels told him to tell Lot to not to tell his family not to turn back, and she turned into a pillow of salt because she was being on disobedient to God. And I was saying on my other video that when God tells us to go and leave. Um, a situation, it's his word and he stands on it and it, it, it is real, it's gold, it's the rock, it's the anointed word of God. And if he says something for us to leave, then we have to um, be prompting to his commands, everyone. Okay, so this is what we do in our life with any situation, given situation, uh, um, whether it's sexual immorality or flee, God say flee, flee. All right, because he's God and he he destroys things. All right, he uproots things um, um, and tear things down, destroy things. All right, everybody. He also builds things up. He tears things down and build things up, everyone. So we can um, test God. So Lot's wife um, became a pillar of salt because she tested God. All right. And this is something that God does not like to be tested because he'll win. All right, everyone. So, um, as I say, I had to correct myself because I was saying that the angels were perceiving to have relations with the, the, the sons of Lot, but it was the other way around. It was the um, people in the town, the men in the town, wanted to have relations with the angels. Okay, so um, that's a correction. I had, to, I had to correct myself with that, everyone. All right. So, and the go into chapter 19, it says, But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter. They called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are men, the men which came in to thee this night? See, the men, they were talking about the two angels. Bring them out unto us that we may know them. And Lot went out at the door unto them and shut the door after him. And they said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. So Lot was pleading with the men to um, not try to do anything with the angels. Because uh, that, that was wrong. That was abominable to God to have his daughters. His daughters had not been with any men. They were virgins. And um, God, uh, Lot was, was saying, don't touch these angels. Touch the, the, my daughters. Okay. So we know that... Um, it says, and they said, stand back. And they said again, this one fellow came and sojourned. He will needs be a judge. Now will we deal worse with thee than we them? 
And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. But the men put forth their hand and pulled Lot into the house to them and shut to the door. And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they wearied themselves to find the door. And the men said unto Lot, Hast thou here any besides son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters? And whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place. For we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord. The Lord hath sent us to destroy it. So the angels were saying that um, to for Lot to take his his wife, his children, and 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 go to flee. That that it was none that was righteous that was going to be left. And 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 God saw favor on the family because uh, he was Lot's Abraham's uh, um, nephew. And um, God wanted to, to, them to be saved. Okay, so um, they had a, a chance to escape um, destruction. So we know that he, uh, the Lord destroyed, uh, the Father destroyed things by brimstone and fire. Okay, and when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the a city. All right, so it was the, the the city was full of iniquity and sin, okay. And God saw fit that it was not, um, they weren't viable to be saved. They were so corrupt with the sin, and 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 the crime and things that they were doing abominable things, okay. Because God is holy, God, right? So this is what we were saying at first that God had to destroy the city, okay. And um, see, just like when, like with Noah's ark, God destroyed the place because He told Noah to uh, get the ark, build the ark, take the animals on there, and and it was not nobody righteous, but he he, he gave favor because Noah was the righteous man, and he saved Noah and his family. Okay, so the eight of them, see, God will give us situations and examples in the Bible. Whereas he will, his judgment will destroy people, places, things. If he call for the fire to, to destroy something, then that's what he does. Okay. Now we know that Abraham was pleading with God, but he, it, 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 it was, it was to no avail. His family did get saved, but everybody else perished. See, because this, this is how serious things are um, when God tells us to flee from fornication, flee from adultery, flee from sexual or morality. All right. Defile things that can defile us, everyone. So on my first video, I was discussing how that it was it is a curse on people, on God's children is a curse of sexual immor immorality. All right. Well, even in the Bible, they were doing things with the wrong flesh, strange flesh. And um, even in slavery, OK, the slave masters were were doing uh, sinister things to people and they making putting men with men and things of that nature and with their own family members and with their parents and everything. So was, this is like a curse that has to be lifted up. Off of God's children and we as intercessors, that's where we come into play, where we call for the fire of God and our prayers to rain down, all right, to remove these things that's destroying his children, all right, the keeping, that's keeping his children from getting close to him, all right, so these things are abominable to God and um, prayer changes things. People get delivered through prayer, okay, with all I get and get understanding. See, God say, my people shall perish for lack of knowledge. So when we don't have the knowledge that we need, that's how people can perish. See, God, we ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right? Just like Solomon asked for wisdom, we are to ask for wisdom, just like Solomon did. See, God gives us wisdom. See, he gives us the wisdom that when we are praying for others to um, ask for for them to be delivered, all right? See, that's where the deliverance ministries come in at, where people get delivered from sexual immorality, 
Okay, so it's so many people that's, um, you got the Jezebel spirit in the church, you have the, the um, sodomy spirit in the church, you have the incestuous spirit in the church, and a lot of times things don't get dealt with because people are living their lives with, without any help for it. All right, some is ancestral, all right, um, ancestral curses that are on people that's uh, 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 filled up from generations, okay? These are evil things um, that's, that's red as ugly head through generations, generational curses and things, okay? So we are to pray for individuals who have this spirit who is living this way. Okay, and he said unto him, See, I have accepted thee concerning this thing also, that I will not overthrow this city for which thou hast spoken. Haste thee, escape thither, for I cannot do anything till thou become thither. Therefore, name of the city was called Zoar. The sun was risen up, the earth when Lot entered the Zoar. Then the Lord rained up Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone from fire the Lord in heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. See, God overthrow things. He overturn things. He overthrow things. People that's living in sexual immorality, he can overturn it, all right, so that you can live a moral way, a moral, a moral standard in your life, okay? That's when he delivers you from evil and keeps you from temptation. So we ought to ask God to deliver us from evil and keep us from temptation, all right? Now, it's not to be celebrated, and it's not to be duplicated, but the anointing of God celebrates when people are delivered from it. Okay? There is deliverance and change. Okay, everybody? So let the manifestation of God call down from the fire of heaven. His manna feed us. His holy anointing fire cover us with the blood, all right? So may God's children who are in sexual immorality, I come up against it right now. I renounce it right now. The plans of the enemy are aborted right now to go to zero, to the fiery furnace, to the pit of hell, to return to the sender. I bind it right now in Jesus' mighty name. And it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow. When he overthrew the cities in which Lot dwelt. And Lot went up out of Zor and dwelt in the mountain and his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in Zor and he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. And the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old and there is not a man in the earth to come unto us after the man of all the earth. Come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him, that we may perceive seed of our father. See, now right here, the daughters were doing tricks, trying to make a seed from their own father. So, so that was ancestral, okay? And they made their father drink wine that night, and the firstborn went in and lay with her father, and he perceived not when she went uh, lay down, nor when she arose. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesterday night with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also, and go thou in and lie with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night also, and the younger arose and lay with him. And he perceived not when he lay down, nor when he rose. See, Lot was drunk, wasn't in his right senses. His daughters took advantage of him. Created babies. See, these are these are things that was was going on, and that causes the generational curse curses that people are being around today. Okay, and then we also will have the molestations uh, that people would, uh, deal with. All right, man and woman deal with um, uh, uh, molestations and, and ancestral spirits. Um, Amongst God's children, everyone. So we ought to stand in the gap against these things, everyone. Um, because to him, much is given, much is required. 
God requires us, requires us as intercessors and prayer warriors to overcome the strongholds of the enemy. When we call down for the fire of heaven in our prayers, things move, things change. His anointing removes things, tear down things, destroy things to build up his children, everyone. Okay, so the Holy Ghost fire is welcome in this place, everyone. The Holy Ghost fire is welcome on my channel. God is going to be doing a lot with me, okay? Um, besides you looking at me on YouTube, um, I'm probably going to have another ministry and I'm going to be doing things bigger than YouTube. And um, please pray for me and not against me. <laughs> no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rise against me and judgment the Lord thy God has uh, shall condemn everybody. So, um, just be encouraged. Okay, um, he always, the Lord prompts me to come to you all with visions, prophecies, prophesying, things to come, warnings, okay, my giftings, the praying for you all. Um, people are de delivered through prayers, everyone. And um, uh, I'm going to be, whenever I'm prompted by God, I do um, what he says, everybody. Okay, sometimes... Um, you have to bring the, the, the truth. You have to, all the time you have to bring the truth. And um, it's not always um, candy, coated, sugar candy, gospels. We have to bring the full gospel, the full arm of God, the word, the sword of the spirit, from Genesis to Revelations, everyone. And um, sometimes people are so uncomfortable with things, but that's what church is for. That's what church is about. Church is not to embarrass anyone. Church is not to um, talk down on anyone, but church is to um, deliver. See, God wants his children to de be delivered from evil and kept from temptation. So that's our goal and our uh, uh, um, substance that we are to do. God uses us as his vessels to stand in the gap for others. Okay, so a lot of times someone is hurt um, from childhood and then they grow up hurting others because they never receive deliverance from the strongholds, okay, from the curses. They never receive deliverance, all right? So everyone, it's not, this is not a video to cast anybody down. It's not a video to embarrass anybody, to step on anybody's shoes. It's not a video to uh, talk down on anybody. But this video is to help someone to be delivered, everybody, okay? This is something that God wants us to be delivered from. He wants his children to be delivered from perversion and sexual immorality. Um, the Jezebel spirit um, is on the church, is on the land. The spirit of Jezebel. And um, we know what God did with Jezebel. She was killed, right? Um, left for the dogs, everybody. So God is in the blessing business. He says what he means. He means what he says. He does what he says he's going to do, everybody. Okay? So it's for us to stand in the gap. Um... Not to ridicule, but we are to lift one another up and pray for one another, stand in the gap that people may be saved. Because if you just, he, he, the Lord left 99 to say the one. He said, if I just help, can help just one somebody, then my living shall not be in vain. It shall not be in vain. It shall not be in vain. If I can help just one somebody, then my living shall not be in vain. All right? So we have people that's hurting, people that's living a life of sinful perversion. And they're not getting delivered from these things. Okay? 
So as an intercessor, you all pray for those you know, your family members, yourselves, those you know or don't know who are going through something, similar situations, whether it be ancestral, um, incest, um, sodomy, whether it be from a, a family member, a friend, someone you know or don't know, rape, you got people that's been raped, okay, all sexual immorality, sins, pornography, I have a, a video on pornography called Pornographia, everybody, it's a good video, see, we have, people have to seek help for these things, if you're not delivered, you see, we have to say, Lord, deliver us from temptation, keep us from evil, but thine kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. See, it's not our will be done, but thy will be done, thy kingdom come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. All right? So, um, let's not get complacent in sexual, sexual immoral things. Even with fornicating is sexual immorality. Adultery is sexual immorality. So, if you're someone that's um, amongst these categories... You must come out of them. Okay? You must come out of these things. Alright? God permits our souls and our spirits to be clean, everybody. He says to not touch the unclean thing. Alright? So, God says to not touch the unclean thing. It's unclean. Sodomy is unclean. Rape is unclean. Incest is unclean. Um... All these things are unclean, everybody. All right? And be mindful that trouble don't last always. See, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness therein. So God is in the blessing business and he blesses us. He, uh, when we receive him in our hearts, he can deliver us from the things that we plagued with in our lives, from childhood to adulthood, everybody. And um, But we must go into prayer and not praise sin, because he said we ought to hate sin, but pray for the sinner. See, God loves the sinner and not the sin that he does. Okay? Because there's judgment. Judgment that's coming for all. He's going to judge us. Each and every one of us. Each and every one of us has to be accounted for to judge. Okay? So that's why we have to stand in the gap. Call for the fire of God when we're praying to remove these sinful perversion things. From God's children. Okay everyone. So I pray that someone. Gets wisdom, knowledge, revelation. From this. If you want to. Get in contact with me. Um, I'm at. LisaFleet44. At gmail.com LisaFleet44. At gmail.com Everyone. If you want to talk a little personal. About it. I'm always there. Everyone. So we have to stand in the gap. For others. Let the anointing fire rain down among us. In this place. In our homes. In our lives. Of our children's. Uh, on our doorsteps. The entryways. The alleyways. The backways. The front ways. The in-laws. The outlaws. Everybody we call for the fire. The rain down. The anointing. The Holy Ghost anointing of God to rain down and heal God's children from these things. Because sexual immorality is very, very prevalent on this land. It is one of the biggest things that hurt God's children. It is one of the biggest evil sin that that plagues this, the nation. It, pl it plagues, plagues our nation. Alright? And, and it's not... Nothing to be celebrated, but we have to you have to be delivered from these things, okay? So let's just stay encouraged, pray for one another, iron shopping iron, 
and um, go with the love of the Lord. And with all that getting, get understanding of what God reveals to us. Because um, and, and when your anointing is flowing in prayer, God shows you all kind of things. All right. He was also, I believe, showing me things in slavery where I was seeing images of individuals that had passed in slavery, everybody. OK, so sometimes it's not hard to, to stomach some of the things that God shows us in the spirit. It's not hard. It's, it's hard to stomach uh demonic entities. It's, it's hard to stomach uh things that does not make us feel good. All right. The things that are abominable to us and for our spirits and our souls and our minds. Okay, everybody. So, like I say, this is not a video to point fingers at anyone. This is a video to say that they, we go to the root cause of the problem of these ancestral curses. All right. That even stem in the Bible. Okay. So, everyone, may you all be blessed. Have an awesome day. And um, God has anointed and appointed his remnants for such a time as this. May we glorify God. May we magnify God each and every day, everybody. So be blessed. Stay in your word. Stay prayed up, everybody. Bye-bye. See you later.